Manufacturing begins in engineering with the design, development, and life cycle management of a product. Engineering provides the foundation for all manufacturing processes and in a manufacturing ERP is the backbone of data and processes for other departments downstream with part naming schemes, bill of material definitions, routings, and labor plans, build defaults, documentation and drawings, engineering change orders, and revision control. Whether you are an OEM in control of designing and developing your own product, a contract manufacturer managing a customer-provided bomb, machining bar stock into a component, or simple kitting and assembly, you need a simple, streamlined way to manage the raw materials, sub-assemblies, labor, documents, and revisions that ensures data accuracy and compliance at every step of the manufacturing process. CTEC ERP provides this framework for your engineering and part management team in a robust, nimble platform that keeps data entry and management simple and straightforward and seamlessly connects it to the rest of the business. Part numbers and bombs. We start with a bomb record because it's the backbone of manufacturing. It is the authoritative source of information on the makeup of all materials, labor, equipment, and documentation needed to produce the end product you are manufacturing the deliverable you're offering your customers. Think of the bomb as a hub with these spokes. The contents of a bomb drive demand for all materials needed to be purchased, received, issued to production on the work order in the form of a pick list, and costed or relieved from inventory through the work order completion process. Subassemblies, which are sublevels of bombs within the top level bombs, are queued up to nest as suborders or be built ahead as their own work orders, or blown through and dynamically flattened. The rev of the bomb is defined along the sales order line item and controlled through ECO workflow process. The production process routing, called labor plan in CTEC ERP, is generated as work instructions for the work order, in addition to driving a capacity-informed production schedule and Gantt chart. The drawings stored on the top-level bomb go with the bomb so that the operators on the shop floor can access needed paperwork directly from the work order on the floor. At its most basic level, a bomb in CTEC ERP consists of a top-level part number with a list of lower-level materials required to build that top-level product. How then is a bomb entered or created in the system? Companies have ways of classifying their item names or numbers. Bomb information and assignment of part numbers, both top-level and lower-level, will follow some kind of scheme. This is typically the realm of the engineering department at manufacturing companies. Thus, bomb entry and bomb maintenance in ERP systems are usually restricted to the engineering department. See user roles or access control. However, in some industries, bomb entry needs to be more loosely defined. For example, in electronics contract manufacturing, the bomb definition may come from your customer's engineering department, not your own engineering department. Or maybe the bomb information spits out of your SolidWorks or Autodesk engineering program and is imported to CTEC ERP. Check out CTEC ERP's CAD to BOM integration options via Duro PLM, Open BOM, or Upchain by Autodesk. Alternatively, maybe your BOM comes from a separate third party quoting system through APIs into the CTEC ERP top level part number. Possibly your bomb creation happens within the manufacturing quoting system natively in CTEC ERP itself. Perhaps your company doesn't carry inventory and your bomb is just a placeholder for the one-off work order about to flow through production of a custom good or service. Whatever the case, to process a transaction in CTEC ERP, something must be itemized with a quantity and dollar amount. That something, the name of the product or service being sold, is a part number. And if that part is something processed or manufactured, then it is a top-level product with a bomb. Then, when that top-level or sub-assembly part number for a bomb is entered on a quote or work order, all of its information flows downstream in the business lifecycle. Once the top-level is placed on a work order, the bomb definition is transferred automatically, including all material requirements, labor and work instructions, and documents. However, now that bill of materials exists as a potentially unique temporary or order bomb, allowing for revision control and in-process changes to occur during the build process of that product. Alongside the material and component requirements for the bomb, 
is the labor or production routing of the top level and subassembly items. The labor plan allows each company to model their production floor as work locations in a sequential order. These represent the steps of production, whether that be material staging or picking and kitting, general production stages like assembly and inspection, or specific machines in your production line. Nested under these work locations are the operations, which drive the actual time estimates. These can be flagged as setup, yes or no. Notice in this data set that we have generic operations named for a time segment, but these can be defined uniquely per company for machine programming, hand soldering, extrusion, etc. Lastly, per operation, you may enter multiple work instructions. These work instructions will be printed on the traveler, router, or will be accessed on the actual work order view screen. A signature can be required for work instructions to provide production control and sign off on specific steps. The labor plan will serve three functions. First, it will serve as a labor cost estimate, which will be compared to actual labor tracked on the work order. Second, it will drive demand against production capacity available at the work locations, forming the basis of your production schedule. Third, it will publish as the work order traveler and work instructions your shop floor will use in order to manufacture. This drives production tracking, allowing you to track production via a barcoded paper-based work order traveler process or by a digital paperless system, or very often a combination of both. The third critical pillar of a bill of materials is the associated documentation required to make this top level item. CAD drawings, Gerber files, work instructions, and more. Here, CTEC ERP manages as a revision controlled integrated document management system, allowing you to upload BOM documents of any file type to be stored in CTEC ERP and attached to a specific BOM revision. You can also simply include a link to your internal file share system. However, you can push these documents through a document approval workflow for document controls. Getting an electronic signature and ensuring only the approved, most up-to-date documents are available in circulation for other departments, like the shop floor, keeping you organized and significantly reducing quality issues and reworks and overhead in paper management. Revision-specific documents will actually show in the work order view screen, where production and the shop floor operate within CTEC ERP as related documents making these easily accessed and removing access or room for error when pulling those documents up in production. Finally, we come to product lifecycle management, managing and controlling the changes to the revisions of a product and ensuring those changes are both controlled and perpetuated to the floor. CTEC ERP contains a fully integrated ECO ECN module, along with a BOM compare tool, with the workflow-based tools to track all responsibilities and requirements that go along with rolling a BOM revision from one revision to the next. An ECL will scan the ERP system for open customers, inventory, quotes, and work orders that could be affected by the revision change, letting you both freeze active work orders and roll revisions across unreleased and unkitted work orders in batch. This is tied in with the BOM revision and document management functionality ensuring a fully streamlined process that involves every necessary department and offers the quality and control needed in managing this sensitive and critical data. In many manufacturing environments, customers may provide you with a list of part numbers that may be substituted one for another. Or you may have those predefined internally and need to associate these substitutions of raw materials on a top-level product. These sets of interchangeable manufacturer's part numbers may be grouped under part spec groups. Then, within a customer's top-level assembly bomb, instead of setting only one unique manufacturer part number, you can specify a grouping of part substitutes that the customer will accept. Components grouped on a part group specified on a bomb may then be swapped out on a work order bomb as needed. Additionally, component shortages within the MRP will be flagged if an approved substitute is on hand that could satisfy the shortage so you aren't buying additional unnecessary components when approved alternates are available. Scrap factors. When setting up a work order bomb, you may also choose to set up a scrap adder, that is, lead count, and or scrap factor, that is, attrition rate, on reels or other component material. 
This will inflate the quantity of material needed that is sent to purchasing in the MRP module and adjust the estimated quantity of material to be issued in the kit and pick list on the work order in CTEC ERP. Customer Supplied Materials For many contract manufacturers, customers may supply you with material. Thus, when setting up a customer bomb, you may flag a certain component or components as customer supplied. When a work order for this bomb is entered, any component known as customer supplied will trigger a special flag in MRP to alert the buyer to procure and receive the item via internal PO following normal traceability process, but at $0 cost so as not to inflate the value of your inventory. Furthermore, when such a customer supplied part is received into stock, you may flag that receipt according to the customer who provisioned the material, and you may lock the bin location it is being received into, so as to reserve those components for only that customer's projects. Numerous other part and bomb tools exist in CTEC ERP to help make your life easier in reporting or simple data management. Where used reporting, which shows every top level bomb that a certain component might be used on, a mass replace feature, which lets you swap a component on every bomb it's used on with one click, or bomb clone features and part merging, bomb comparison tools, labor plan and master bomb management template.